Have you ever been watching a medical, nursing, police, firefighter, paramedic, or hospital-based TV show, or a series on Netflix, Hulu, or even a movie, and seeing them rushing the patient in through the emergency room doors and giving a quick report such as, we have a 55-year-old male driver who was involved in an MVA wearing a seatbelt, airbags deployed, unknown if there was any LOC, and a GCS of 10. That sounds exciting, but what does all that mean? What are they talking about when they say, GCS. Well, that's what I'm going to be discussing in this video. What is a GCS and what does the number or the score mean? Hi there, I'm Nurse Master Charlie. Welcome to my YouTube channel. Welcome to my nursing channel. I am a registered nurse and on my channel I talk about and share about nursing, nursing school related topics and tips, as well as health related topics, tips, and information. Now to the GCS or Glasgow Coma Scale. This all started back in the 1970s. In 1974, at the University of Glasgow, two neurosurgery professors, Graham Teasdale and Brian Jennett, published the Glasgow Coma Scale, also known simply as GCS. The Glasgow Coma Scale revolutionized a way for a quick objective assessment and to be able to communicate rapidly the neurological status of a person by measuring a person's level of consciousness. It provides a quick and rapid overview of a patient's status. It may also be part of a nursing assessment to be documented in the patient's record. It is based on three measurements of assessments, the eye-opening responsiveness, a verbal responsiveness, and a motor responsiveness. The higher the number, the more alert and responsive the patient is. The lower the number, the less alert and responsive the patient is. Let me show you what I mean. First, consider what you may know about the patient or any type of history that is available. The level of consciousness, or the LOC, can be altered and may not be to an injury. It may be due to medications, prescriptions or otherwise, a prior medical history, history of paralysis due to injury or stroke, as these may interfere with the actual GCS assessment. These cannot be measured and are described as not testable or NT. First, the eye-opening response. If eye-opening is spontaneous, that would equal four points. If eye-opening is to verbal stimuli, that would equal three points. If eye-opening is to pain only, that would equal two points. If there's no response, that would equal one point. For the verbal response, if oriented to person, place, time, and situation, that would equal five points. If confused but converses and able to answer questions, that would equal four points. If inappropriate verbal responses occur, that would equal three points. If speech is incomprehensible, that would equal two points. If there is no response, that would equal one point. And last but not least, the motor response. If able to obey commands for movement, that would equal six points. If able to provide purposeful movement to painful stimulus, that would equal five points. If withdrawals in response to pain, that would equal four points. If in response to pain, flexion occurs or decorticate posturing, that would equal three points. If in response to pain, extension occurs or decerebrate posturing, that would equal two points. If no response, that would equal one point. The eye-opening response, the lowest total score would equal one. The highest total score would equal four points. In the verbal response, the lowest total score would equal one. The highest total score would equal five points. In the motor response, the lowest total score would equal one. The highest total score would equal six points. Total overall GCS score would be at the lowest, a three. At the highest, a 15. A low GCS score would indicate a high mortality rate. A high GCS score would indicate a fully awake and responsive person. You will more likely see the GCS scored as a total as in a GCS of 15, or described by its individual sections as in E4, V5, M6 for eyes, verbal, or motor. What is your GCS as you watch this video? Leave me a comment. So I just wanted to mention really quick if you're interested, I created a free quick GCS reference guide. It's a sheet that you can download to your iPhone, your iPad, or just simply print out to keep your notes. Like I said, it is completely free. I'll leave the link in the description. Now, if you learned something and found value in this video about the Glasgow Coma Scale or the GCS Scale, please be sure to give this video a like. And if you are interested in health information and nursing related content like this, then I'd like to invite you to subscribe and be part of my nursing channel. And also hit the notification bell so you can be made aware of when I release new videos. Please be sure to check out my many other nursing topic related videos, as well as my nursing and health related educational music lyric videos here also on YouTube. And if you want to take my nursing educational music on the go with you, my nursing songs are available for listening on all music streaming platforms. 
That would be Spotify, Apple Music, Deezer, Pandora, etc. Also, please be sure to check out my nursing blog on my website, www.nursemastercharlie.com. I'll leave links in the description. So until the next video, go save lives and make a difference. God bless and goodbye.